when it comes to concealed carry, stiffness does matter. And I'm gonna show you why, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, what we're gonna be talking about today is, is a product um, from a company called Core. And Core is a, uh, a manufacturer of gun belts. And it's, um, it's become really um, in, apparent to me um, <clears throat> with uh, doing concealed carry that the belt that you have your rig on is really important, it is crucial. And what I want to do is I want to show you this product that um, that I got from them. I want to show you how to set it up, <clears throat> put it together, and then also talk about and show how it actually works um, with uh, a concealed carry weapon and why the stiffness does matter. And um, hopefully you guys can really see uh, the quality of this product and I can highlight it for you because it's pretty awesome and I'm pretty excited to show it to you. So let's get right into it. So this is from Core um, and the, uh, the link for their, their company is down below. So please check that out. Now Core makes a variety of gun belts. This is their EDC gun belt. Um, it is a one and a half inch belt and it supports up to eight pounds of weight. Um, what's interesting about this belt is, and if you're not familiar with core, um, or these types of belts. Um, this is a ratcheting belt system. And what that means is uh, it gives you a lot of adjustability, um, a lot of comfort, um, and it, it's just so far superior to a traditional leather belt that has the, you know, the traditional metal buckle with um, the, uh, the holes in it. Uh, and I'm going to show you why because this it's going to blow you away how how cool this thing is. Now, I've done a review of Core Belt before. Uh, it was quite a while ago, um, so it was really time for an update and show you what they have. This is one of their newest belts, and hopefully you guys can see this in the video. Um, we'll do some close-up shots, but this is in multicam black. Um, they now have. Um, a variety of colors in this size, but now they have also added um, multicam. So there's multicam arid, uh, tropic, uh, the black, um, and there's some other color, some camo colors as well. So really cool stuff. Um, it's a really good looking belt. So we got the belt. This is what comes with this. Uh, you get to pick out the belt color that you want, and there's solid colors as well. So I picked out multicam black. Then I picked out uh, my buckle. And the buckle is, I believe this is the X6, which is a really cool black uh, material or a black coating on it. And then we have the sizing instructions and setup. Also came with uh, the optional hanger, so I'm able to hang this on my closet. And then we've got the hardware and a hex wrench. <clears throat> so what makes this belt so different than a traditional belt? Well, the first thing is you don't have to order a very specific size. And that is one of the, the huge benefits of these types of belts. Um, from core is that uh, it is a one size that you fit to yourself and then once you fit it you still have plenty of adjustment so if you lose a little weight you gain a little weight uh, maybe you don't want to wear the belt so tightly because you're not carrying a weapon at that time um, you can do that and you can't do that with a traditional leather belt because you're always stuck with just a few adjustments and um, once you outgrow that belt, well, it's time to go to the store and buy a new one. 
Um, but this has a lot of adjustment. So the belt goes from uh, 24 to 54 inch waist. Uh, there's about 40 plus uh, size increments that you can adjust to um, within that range. And there are quarter inch increments of adjustability within the belt. So what you do is with this, it's pretty simple. Uh, and we're just gonna follow the directions and I'm gonna walk you through this just like I was setting this thing up brand new because it's time to pop on the old man reading glasses. So the first thing we wanna do is on the back of the belt, there are ruler markings that you find your pant size, okay? Flip the belt over and you're going to look for your pant size on here. So I'm right at about, you know, I'm kind of in between a 40 and a 42, but to be safe, I'm gonna go with the 42, okay? And then next uh, it says to add four inches um, to your pant size and cut using sharp scissors. If, it, if you're using an inside the waistband holster, you add six. So if I'm adding four to that 42, it's around 43, 44, 45. It's going to take me up to 46. Now that seems like a lot to me. Um, but it says in the directions, for example, if your, your pant size is a 34, cut the belt at the mark at 38. So to be safe, we're going to follow the directions. That's going to, I'm going to cut it to 46. And it says to use sharp scissors. So I'm going to cut the belt. Now I think I should have used my EMT shears. These are not quite cutting it. Ha, 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 ha. All right. <clears throat> Hang on. Try the EMT shears. That's a little bit easier. Boom. Okay. So it says gently loosen the screws with the included hex wrench. Loosen those just a little bit. Okay. Insert the cut end of the belt into the buckle teeth and clamp down firmly. Okay, so you see that I've loosened the screws and there is this little mechanism right here. And as you can see, when you flip that open, there are teeth in there. So it says to Insert the belt, the cut end into this. So you have to really loosen those like almost completely out for them to get past because the belt has to go underneath and past those screws. So then you flip that down and that kind of make sure you get, a, you get the belt firmly um, pressed into the buckle when you're um, clamping it down because when you clamp it down it's going to have a tendency to shift back just a little bit there we go and you're going to want the um, belt to extend about three to four inches beyond um, your first belt loop that's what they're saying so okay there it is it's all set up pretty easy got it cut to my size All right, so I've I've put the belt on, and what I've done is I put on a white T-shirt so you can see um, the belt and how it looks. Can I hear that? That is the size adjustment. If I tighten that down, I'm probably about two inches beyond my belt loop but these are uh, work pants um, these are my LA police gear pants and the belt loop uh, the first belt loop is pretty far out um, like if I was wearing jeans the belt loop would be more up here so it definitely be three inches or better um, so I think the fit is fine um, I wouldn't want to go any smaller than that 
but I still have plenty of adjustment. So to loosen these, these kind of belts up, what you do is there is a little switch and you activate that and that releases and then it comes loose that way. And then what you do is you just push the belt into the buckle and now it's clicking against the teeth and it's adjusting. And that's how you get all this adjustment in, the, in this kind of belt. So, you know, at the beginning of the day, um, typically you haven't eaten, um, you're just waking up, so you're able to get that belt down nice and tight. First, we're gonna do this view, review properly. I wanna show you uh, the belt with a holster um, underneath a shirt concealed. So, this is my normal setup. And as you can see, there is no flex. It is solid. And I've got it tightened down pretty good. I can go about one more click. Um, so that's a good solid platform. gun stays where it's supposed to it keeps it down close to my side it's it's pulled in nicely it's not flopping out and that way the weapon is not printing underneath my shirt terribly um, so definitely a good belt um, is a necessity all right so that is how to set up the core belt that's how it looks when it's on um, that's how it adjusts. So all pretty simple stuff, nothing too complex. So now why, why is the core belt different um, than other belts and why is it good for concealed carry? Well, so, um, you know, when you start carrying, you quickly realize that the belt um, becomes really critical. And if you've ever started carrying and then you start off with um, your normal leather EDC belt that you've always worn, you quickly realize that it is not good enough. Um, and the reasoning is because with a holster, of course there is weight. And then if you are drawing from that holster, that belt has to be rock solid. Um, it has to be a rock solid platform that is not gonna flex or move in any way. It needs to become part of you. So when you do, um, uh, pull your weapon and then reholster, that holster stays where it's supposed to be and it's not moving around. So with this particular belt and with core, all core belts, um, stiffness um, is a big deal um, and they do a really good job with these things. Um, like I said, it holds, uh, this particular model holds up to eight inches, or excuse me, this particular model holds eight pounds of weight. Um, that is way more um, than I'm gonna ever carry um, concealed. So there are other belts in their lineup that move up in size and also will ho hold more weight if that is more of a concern. And they go all the way up to a, a gun platform, um, kind of almost like a duty belt. Um, it's bigger, it has uh, molly and things like that on it so you can attach pouches and things. So more of a range belt, I guess I would call it. Um, but this particular model, the gun belt, is truly an EDC belt. This is something you're gonna wear every day. Um, so just off the bat, you know, I've got um, my concealed uh, weapon on here. This is the Canic. Um, subcompact um, with the Canic holster and as you can see uh, just holding it like this um, it's not flexing it's not drooping um, it's not falling down uh, it's supporting the weight of that pistol in the holster and that's a fully loaded uh, magazine um, so that's full weight um, and it's holding it perfectly. So when I put this on me, it's gonna stay where it's supposed to and that's really, uh, it's key and it's critical. Um, is you, you don't want that thing flopping out um, from your waist because that's gonna uh, print 
Uh, people are going to be able to see it easier on you if it if it moves away from your body. You really want it snugged up against you, <clears throat> and you want it to be in the position that you put it in. So when you do have to draw, it is there. Um, you are not guessing. You are not fumbling around. And these core belts are fantastic. Now you can see there there is flexibility with the belt. I mean, the belt is not hard in any. Um, in any way this it's still comfortable it's still going to conform to my body but when i get it on when i put the holster on it it's rock solid um, it stays where it's supposed to and that's why i love these belts um, and i love the ratcheting system um, they are fantastic they they are so far superior to a normal um you know belt that you buy at Walmart or whatever. I mean, it, even if you don't carry a weapon every day, um, if you do carry things like um, a Leatherman um, or a pocket knife attached to your belt or flashlight or maybe some kind of other tool, um, these belts are fantastic. Um, if you are working in the service industry, uh, they are very comfortable um, because you can adjust them as you need. Uh, you don't always have to have them tightened down. You can loosen them up if you need to. So, you know, for I think this belt runs are like right around $39.99. Um, that's a fantastic price, I think, for a belt that's going to last a really long time. It's a very quality item. So I'm really happy with mine. Um, I've been happy with them in the past. Uh, uh, definitely check them out. Such a cool looking belt. I really dig it. So on the core website, and I just want to show you all the different products they have on here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. So we've got wallets, there's key rings, there's the belt hanger that I got. Um, here's another interesting product that uh, they also sent me. This is the belt protector sleeve. So what that does is if you want to put that um, in an area where you're putting a holster all the time, it'll protect the belt. Of course, the trucker cap, which I'm wearing uh, today for the video. T-shirts. There's some knives. There's a pack. Um... So all kinds of stuff in the accessory items. And then going to the gun belt. So here's the, here's the EDC gun belt. And then here are all the different options for colors. There's leather, uh, there's tan, gray. Here's the, there's black, ranger green. Of course, there's all the leather colors there. There's the multicam colors, multicam, multicam arid, black, multicam tropic, and flectarn, which is pretty awesome. And I kind of wanted that one because I love flectarn, but that was pretty awesome. Here's your buckle selections. That's the X6. That's the one that's on my belt. Belt keepers. There's that belt protector again. There's carbon fiber belts. Um, so this is this is all the different accessories and the different types of belts in the EDC um, line of belts. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, thank you to Core for hooking me up with this gear. Um, love working with those guys. They have such great products. Please check out their website down below, and you can review all the different gear that they have, belts, and sunglasses and hats and t-shirts and all the belt accessories um, like i said there's a variety of belts that they sell different sizes uh, different widths and different applications and if you use prepared 10 you will get 10 percent off your order so support them and that's helps support the channel. Also check out the other affiliate links down below. Check out Instagram and check out the Facebook group. That's growing, getting really big. It's a great place to see extra content that I post and that other members are posting. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time on the Prepared Wanderer.